this guy bumping about everywhere. Well, there may be another delete Tom actually. Barrels out. It's a kind of pain in the ass to kill from here. That guy is way out there too. Jeez, oh. Let's forget about this Panzer IV though. Oh, here we go. Just step back in again. Fine. Too high. Nice. Okay. I love how I hit the further away guy easier than I hit the guy that was closer. There we go. Okay, finally. Oh, hello. Okay, I think I just took his tail off. Or a piece of it. There we go. Right, any more planes? Terrible shots. Got him destroyed though. Here he comes. 109 with a bomb. Trying to get him to overshoot. There we go. Laps. You can kind of can better turn with this thing. But now we are a wee bit faster. We don't have the same turn rate as this 109. I'm going to go back up. Take off laps. A tiny bit of rudder, not much. No, the rudder's not working. But. Okay, we got him critical. Not perfect. Just coming back around. Has he still got that bomb attached? I think he does. I'm dead here. Unless we get lucky. Wait, is this engine out? I'm not hearing an engine. I am not hearing an engine. Come on, with it. Look, let me hear. He is very dead, this man. Okay, perfect. There we go. Another plane coming in. We can get a rocket strike done. Right, now we've lost the energy and we're slightly damaged. We are not doing so well. We should be okay for a little while. Our enemy aircraft. Those are looking good. Okay, we got a hits on him. One more. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> Privet comrades and welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we are doing a combo. An accidental combo. I brought the T-34-57-1943 out, thinking that I would get a quick couple of kills, hop into the SU-6, do some damage on the ground, and then make a video about the SU-6, but Odd does what he does best and ends up having some baller games in this bad boy here. Now I have already covered the Tech Tree variant of this guy, but since the volumetric shell update, this one has become a lot more survivable. This turret neck here is much less likely to be penetrated just because of the volumetric shell change, and this guy is very deceiving. Whenever we look at the turret cheek, it looks like the turret only has 53mm of armour here, but if we go into the protection analysis, let's just select some USA here and we'll go for the M61 shot. Whenever we pen this, there's another plate here behind it. And I have fallen for this many times before, thinking it's a nice easy shot. I'll go through here no problem. And this was before the patch. And now, it's even better. And the 57mm cannon on this is very good. Possibly the best cannon for its battle rain. Put it this way, at 4.3, flat on, at 1km, we can still take out a Tiger from the front. And angles? They are not any issues either. Now moving on to our bird of choice, this is the SU-6. It's a brand new premium introduced by Gaijin for the patch here. And this one sits at a much lower battle rating than the Tech Tree variant. And there's a good reason for it. Reason 1 is it's got a lot of additional pieces of armour, so it's a little bit heavier. It's got a little bit less power and the firepower as well is a bit lacklustre. 
that we can carry 10 RBS rockets on this bad boy, but we can only bring out 10 of them as long as we don't bring out any bombs. And the bombs that we do manage to take out, the good ones, we only get four of them. Although they're individually dropped, we need to make sure we drop these directly underneath the enemy tanks to make sure we ensure our kill. And as soon as we bleed off our energy, that's it. It's going to take us a little while to get it back again, so we're food for SPAAs and enemy fighters. Now, our 23mm cannons can do some work on the ground as well, but in all good consciousness, I couldn't recommend this thing for doing casting. In my opinion, the IL-2M1943 is a much less expensive option, and honestly, it's just as good. And for a little bit of extra money, the TIS Mass is at 37 has a much more vast array of weaponry and two very big bombs. However, we will be still taking this thing out, so let's go see how we get on. All right, Ash River, single Kaparu. I am going to go up onto the sniper hill and drive off the side. See if we can catch some people off guard. We've got to be careful though, because in the bowl, we're still very vulnerable. And that's not ideal. So I'm going to go around here, drive down into the bottom, and see if we can get some shots on anyone that crossed towards A as quickly as I can. I just need to get a quick few kills, and we can hop into the SU-6 and hopefully get some decent cast coverage. That's the goal anyway. Hopefully we don't run into anybody over here. This thing doesn't steer so well as the non-premium one. I don't feel like it anyway. Oh, actually. This might be feeding time over here. T14. Not what I wanted to be fighting, to be honest. Unless he looks at me. Which will be entirely different. To that Stuart. Actually, I think I can pen this T-14. Churchill's well angled now. Oh, he's looking my way. Too high? I'm quite confident up here. Even against this thing. Let's see it's my turret neck, then we're in trouble. He kinda knows what he's doing here. Too high? This is going to be an awkward shot. I want that turret cheek so bad. It's kind of backing up. Ooh, I hit him in a really thick place, unfortunately. There's our T14 now. There's my track. T14's dead. Somebody else firing at me now, too. A few things. Very dusty. Come on, Dust, go away. Okay. There goes one. There's another T14 here. Oh, he's wriggling his turret. What a clever girl. Bad shot. Too high. Another T14. M10. Oh yeah, there goes his breach. Something else has got an angle on me, I think. Okay, that T14's dead. This <laughs> Churchill is... I'm farming spawn points off him. Okay, that M10's dead now. No longer shagged. Okay. Right, Sniper Hellboys are next. Churchill's given up, hopefully. I don't want to turn my side completely on him, but we're going to have to. Okay, buddy, what are you? We're way over. Is that a turret, actually? We got opt one? Oh, that's an Avenger. Okay, that other guy is there. Sherman? Bad shot. Mm. 
Normal detonation. It's a big game. Maybe we should thin the numbers a little bit more. We'll do them. You know what? You can live. Actually, maybe not. Somebody's down here. Directly below me. Oh my god, what am I doing? There's two here. I've never shot a Sherman down through his roof before. This is a first. An M42. Hello, sturdy boy. <laughs> Yeah, I've killed your brothers, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, absolutely rigged. Friendly here. Yeah. Very many enemies left. I don't want to happen to SU6 soon. Let's just drive up. I don't like to just G out some of the time. I would rather go drive out, let somebody kill me. Give him some silver lines and some respawn points and some RP. Okay, there goes a the Churchill. He's still alive all that time. I hear him, 22. Okay. Yeah, he's gone. Let's head up into the spawn. I'm not even going to type that. Comes across as toxic, but I don't want to be. They kill me here. Shimmy. Um. Okay. Am I invisible? I wonder why he didn't shoot me. Just cheer out. Well. Oh, here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, kill me. That's it. Yep. Do it. Oh, no, I'm dead. <laughs> On 836 and a P... What? They both crashed into each other. Oh, well, okay. I guess no SU-6 this time. All right. Alaska. The city with skyscrapers in the middle of goddamn nowhere. I'm gonna go... Set up for a brawl over here, I think. We are in a full up tier, so 5.3. Mixed battle. Uh, Gaijin have done this thing where introducing a premium and top tier Russia now is like very popular because I've got the three brand new vehicles. So everyone's spamming Russia out. And uh, yeah, you can hardly get a game anywhere. Who would have thought? <laughs> Who would have thought? Well, the question is, can I UFP another T-3457? Well, we're about to find out here. The answer was no. Oh, okay. Yeah, there was quite a lot of volumetric armor I tried to pen. So, not really surprised I didn't go through. Low Calliope. Dude is waiting on me, and I don't think I'm going to end up with any friendlies nearby. Just going to back it up a little bit. I don't think this guy wants to get cocky. Shot a car. Or he's he's shooting a teammate. Oh, he just fired smoke. Wait, is that a seventy-six? 
Oh, well, PT-76 with me now. I can probably afford to do stupid other things. Which is great. Where on earth did he go? Houdini. He just vanished. Oh, he's still there. Let's get around this corner before he appears again. He's being decapped. Not good. Hopefully we can get this cab though. People just fired at something in the middle there? Yeah. Okay. Hey, decab time. Let's go see where this T-34 is. Hey, you I think I just seen him over here. Yes, I did. That's not a T-34, though. I'll be a Sherman. Did he spot me? Probably. Is the answer. Nope. No, he did not. Okay, three down. That is a scary Sherman. Thank God. He was not looking at me. <laughs> oh my lord. That is not what you want to see. A 76 Sherman looking at you? Mm -mm, mm -mm, nope. Not at all. Okay, that T-Boy thing's heading back to the cap. Hello, ASU. It's very nice to see you. Sorry, you're on the opposite team, though. He just drove right out in front of me. Oh, no. Hello, KV. Bad shot. Bounced. Terrible hit by me. I deserve to die here if he hits me. Ricochet. You got my breach, too. And there's another one. the hell else is shooting me? Oh, a tiger! A real life tiger! Getting dude! <laughs> oh, I'm, oh god, there's a lot of things broken on my tank. Still got three crew though. Tiger bounced the KV as well. Wait, is the KV one now more effective than a tiger? Would seem like it. Oh, that's not. That's not the play, dude. He knew I was here too. Oh, there he is. Breaches out. Thank you very much, Tigor. Another one as well. Okay. This tiger just killed himself, pretty much. Stop reversing. Dude. Dude, what is wrong with you? I think we're good now. There we are. <laughs> oh my goodness. What, a, what absolutely chaotic turn of events. Oh god, yeah. Yeah, that's a KB1S. Good luck, Tigo. Oh, seven kills? I didn't realise we'd killed quite so many. Oof. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, it was kind of fun, that. What are you? That plane looks big and slow, but we are also kind of big and slow. Not too big, but we're definitely not the fastest thing in the world. He's flying away, though. It could just be a slow Tizma. Attention, 
No, he's that is airfield bound, whatever it is. What is this SPA calling out? Things in front of him actually. We don't want to end up getting spawn cam like this happening to them right now. Actually, what are you doing to me? Stop this. Oh. Two SPAs. That is coming close. Okay, yep. <laughs> wow. Righty ho. Oh, it's slightly terrifying. Those, uh, those second ones are going nowhere near either. Or are you shooting that? An aircraft is coming in. Not good. That's me! Oh, it was a BB-1. Okay. SPA is. Okay, we got one. Oh, there goes my wing. Did he kill me though? Yeah, we killed each other. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, hello, Churchill. This is bad. Okay. No damage. Oh, I just had double bits of armor. I'm just going to go for his turret cheek, actually. Let's see where we go from here. Non pen. Yeah, okay. This is going to be difficult, I think. Oh, we got another guy in front of us. There goes my breach. He's angling now. Nothing. It's this other dude I'm worried about here. Yes. You. Driver? Okay, interesting. There goes my gun after the Churchill. Another Churchill coming. Okay. Churchill is the meta now, obviously. I missed. Okay, we bounced a lot of shots, enough so we can spawn a plane though. I thought we could pen that thing. I was fairly confident we could with the 57, but nope. Wait, this is what we wanted anyway, at the end of the day. My, my game is doing that weird thing again where I'll move my mouse like a good entire wrist movement and it won't move. This is the only game that does it too. Play a lot of Apex Legends and have never had that issue in Apex Legends, it's only War Thunder. It's so dumb. It gets me in trouble quite a lot, actually. One guy crossing over towards B from the C cap. A cap's being D cap now. Not ideal. Let's see what this guy is. Probably a Sherman of some sort. But there's Churchills everywhere. Is a Sherman. Or maybe it's not. What the hell is that? It is. It's an M42. With a fancy skin. Another Sherman down here. And those Churchills too. Let's get rid of the Sherman with the guns. No Laparinos. Back on the whip. And open fire. Okay, you got him crit on fire. Let's go for a rocket strike now, we're a little bit slower. We have more accuracy now. There's two. Let's get this one at the back. Okay, on fire. I thought that was going straight towards this turret, but I was mistaken. Sherman's dead. Let's hit this other Churchill. He's slightly further forward. Another Sherman dead. I was leading far too much there. Going a bit too fast. Kind of inaccurate when you do that. SU-85 has flanked this Churchill now. KV-1 will never go through this guy. Right, we're on a better approach now. One Churchill down. Second one is on fire. Right, okay. Got a guy pushing onto the B cap. There's two here already, actually. 
A lot of people crossing this open ground in Sherman's. Let's see if we can hit this T14. Yeah, we did, but nothing happened. The enemy has most of the AC4 here? The Australian boy. Oh, aircraft. Okay, you got him in fire as well. E47. London flaps. Burning wyvern in there. Okay, we should be good on this P47 now. Attention to the map. Got him crit. Fell them full of holes. There we go. Okay. Another enemy here coming in. He is fast. Really fast. What on earth are you? Typhoon maybe? Yes, I think it is. Scary one too. Okay. Yeah. Got him. I think that may have been the Churchill guy. Or one of them. Okay, B cap is still being capped by the enemy. Another plane coming in, no. We're going for him. Very angry 50 cows now. Get some speed. That is a P38. With gun pods. We got him though. Nice. Okay. Oh, it's the LO as well. Nice. Okay, let's jump out. Save our pilot. So the SU-6 really isn't a bad aircraft, but for your money, it's just not worth it. There are Tig Tree variants that are in lower BRs that will do pretty much the same job. You've got the Yak 9T, you've got the PE 8 with the 5000 kilogram bomb, and of course, you've got your pick of the litter with IL 2s. Of course, if you like the SU 6 platform, then maybe this plane will be for you. But for my 4.3 lineup, I'll probably switch it in and out as time goes on. And of course, the T 3457 is still a very good tank made probably even better. This thing's a lot of fun to play, and if you do enjoy a 4.3 lineup, you've got two T-3457s in your lineup if you do manage to get your hands on this thing. Now 4.3, SU-85, SU-57, you've got the kv ones S5 as well. Ah, there's just so many things that you can bring out along with them. 4.3 Russia was just so good before, but it's just so much better now. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Much love and bye-bye.